In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a table centerpiece wood box that is personalized for your home decor. This is an easy build and a piece my wife wanted to build for our friend's housewarming gift. We start the table centerpiece wood box by building a wood box from some aged lumber I had around the shop. I started by ripping the lumber for the sides for the table centerpiece wood box on my table saw. I then cut the sides to length using my table saw sled. For this build, I cut two pieces at 12 inches and two pieces at 13 inches so that we finished table centerpiece wood box creates a rectangle. Stick around to the end and I'll show you how we personalized the box using stencils my wife created on her silhouette cameo and a trick for getting even paint without any bleed under that I learned from Elisa English. I'll link her channel in the description below. You should really go check her out. She's doing some amazing stuff. So after joining it, we're going to clean up the glue and I'm going to take a wet rag and clean those joints up. And it's about right here when I'm laying the rest of my box out that I realize I've created a square, not the rectangle that I intended. So what do we do? We take it all back apart, remove the brad nails with our pliers there, and then we start to clean everything back up and then we'll just put it right back together, but this time making a rectangle and not a square. And through the magic of videography, I'm going to actually block my entire work progress right here with my Ryobi Brad Nailer. Now let's move to a different angle. Basically here we're going to glue all of our joints and then nail our table centerpiece wood box together. And then clean all the glue squeeze out using a wet rag. The bottom of the table centerpiece wood box is built using the same lumber as the sides. I wanted the bottom to sit flush with the sides so I measured the inside edge to the inside edge of the box to get the length and then cut to fit using my table saw and cross cut sled. The lumber I used prevented me from having three equal sized boards for the bottom so I just trimmed the center board to fit and then all three bottom pieces are nailed to the sides using a brad nailer. The next step is to personalize the box. I enlisted the help of my beautiful wife who refused to be on camera. She used her silhouette cameo to create vinyl stencils for her signed projects. For the table centerpiece wood box, she removes the letters leaving the letter outline and the centers. And then she uses contact paper to transfer the complete vinyl stencil in one piece to the box. Once securely on the box, she removes the contact paper and then we're ready to paint. 
and here you'll start to hear me try to coach my wife on how to do this project and she politely reminds me that this is not her first rodeo. Here we'll be using a makeup wedge from the dollar store and black craft paint and we begin lightly dabbing the letters to create the personalized table centerpiece with a branded or stamped crate look. Using the makeup wedges and lightly dabbing the paint is the key to reducing, if not eliminating, the bleed under that you get with vinyl stencils. I've tried everything from brushes to paint rollers and is, this is the best way I've found. If you have a better way, please leave me a comment down below. Once the paint's dried, we remove the stencil and the letter pieces. Then once again, my wife worked her magic and decorated this beautiful table centerpiece wood box using some of her pieces like deer antlers, books, a vase, some decorative plants, a wood sign that I made years ago, and some filler material like moss. Um, my wife actually redecorated the table centerpiece wood box again before taking it to our friends for their own custom table centerpiece using materials that no one had seen before. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next video.